Well, welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple days since we we moved this into the shed here. So finally getting around to it. I'm gonna try maybe cleaning up under the bonnet and then taking these seats out because man, those are grimy. But uh, if you're wondering, basically Studebaker project is dead as of now as of a while ago. I mean, it's one thing if I'm interested in fixing it up, but if absolutely no one else is, then forget it. But when I mentioned the Beetle to my dad, he's a lot more enthused about that because he's actually driven this thing. He was probably the last one to drive it. He said back in late 80s, I guess. Well, obviously everything under here needs a thorough cleaning. That really stinks. There's a hole going through that seal there. And that's all behind the, the gauge cluster. And I'm guessing the mice chewed a hole through there and that's how they got in the cab. As for the cab, I don't think they wrecked it up too much. This handle's dead. Windows go up and down pretty good. I mean, the car is a weird green but for interior choices, I'm thinking this is blue. From what I've been able to see, there's hasn't been any actual like green options. And the seats, a little rip there, but I mean, I don't even know if they're salvageable with how dirty they are. Steer's really nice. No cracks, but I mean, there's little rust spots here and there on the dash. Which, when we get it painted, like, I'm going to haul this entire tier interior out and they can probably paint the inside too. Headliner. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but uh, that has to go. Pretty sure the motor is fine. Let's see, how does he turn? Yeah. I'm not sure it's supposed to turn that easily though. Of course you got little bumps and bruises there. But then we got these spots and yep, they are not just dirt, but they're not deep either. So that can be blasted. I'm gonna just lightly pound those out I think. We're good. But that crack in the hood is a little more concerning. Might just be able to weld that. So, pulled the uh, rest of the dash off, or the rear of the dash, and there she is, the mother load. I hope they didn't get through the glove box here, but looks like they were definitely chewing on it. <clears throat> and who knows when they actually moved in with well, this thing sitting in the barn for 30 some years, just about. But I can take this entire plastic sheet out of here. Might be a little easier, less crud to work on. I did clean out a little, little bit of the mice nest here, but this was underneath that plastic guard. I guess I can show the guard. So that's everything that's on it. Pretty gross. But then it had that stickum stuff underneath it. I'm not sure what it is exactly if it's supposed to be sticky it's definitely not coming off so easily but we'll see but this is just sort of reference before and after got all of that crud out of there that stick them and i'm not sure if it was actually supposed to be sticky but it got that way over time anyways but uh yeah it's got most of it scraped off well, <clears throat> got the spare out, vacuumed out down there. There was a lot of crud built up, still is. But today I'm not getting too deep into it. I'm just sort of getting out what's on the surface. All right, just got uh, the box open here. Got the manual. It's dirty, was wet. 
kind of dried now, but we also got lots of useful information. Cool. We got the seats out, or I got the seats out. Who's we? Hard to say what that color was. If it was, well, I guess not. It must be off white that turned to brown and tan. Because the, the rear of the seat ain't so bad. The front's got really dark though. I don't know what you could possibly use to clean that up. So I ripped all the the rubber out of there looks real nice under there just needs a little cleaning on that side I suppose and a little rustier on the battery so and then we got more looks like stick them back there it needs to go and that carpeting can rip out that's all garbage good thing they use lead paint so that battery acid didn't go all the way through the floor but I cleaned up the carpet and then just ripped it out anyways. There wasn't much holding it in. Let's see how easy this stickum comes off. But headliner, even the side panels. Oh yeah, because I got the bolts out of them. Those will come out pretty easy, I think. But uh, probably won't work too much more today. It looks like I got a lot done. I kind of did, and I've been out here for a couple hours, so... Yeah, I, I know when to call it quits. I don't need to do everything in one day. Uh, I'm not in too big of a hurry. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass later though. 